little obsessed. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your gaming tokens with your own 3D designs. Fusion 360 is an integrated set of computer-aided engineering software tools used for a variety of mechanical engineering functions. It's available for free for personal use or if you're a student. It can be quite overwhelming at first, but I'm going to show you a simple approach to making some game tokens. For this video, I'm going to be making a token for the game Test of Honor by Gray for Now Games. It's a skirmish style miniature rule set for the samurai era of Japan, and I really like it for its relative simplicity, quick play, and most of all because it's a lot of fun. This video is not meant to be a tutorial on Fusion 360. I assume that you have some knowledge of it but maybe I can show you some shortcuts in creating these tokens. To begin with, I did a search on the internet to find an image of a samurai helmet that I could use as a basis for my token. This is what I found. You can import a graphic as your canvas that you can then use to trace or sketch over. To do this, I select Insert from the menu and choose the Canvas menu option. I then choose the Samurai Helmet image I found earlier and put it on the XY plane. To begin creating the token, I click the Create Sketch icon on the leftmost part of the toolbar ribbon. I then select the XY plane again to begin sketching. The screen now shifts to a two-dimensional view with the Samurai Helmet showing. I want my token to be circular, so I first select the Circle option, choose where I want the center point, and then Put 25 millimeters for the diameter of the circle. To give the token thickness, I right click inside the token, choose the first extrude option, and then select 1.6 millimeters for the thickness of the token. With the base of the token done, I create a new sketch, and this time I select the actual token itself as the plane. I create a circle inside the larger token, and I want a border to be 0.6 width, so I dimension it to 0.6. Because the helmet is symmetrical, I only intend to draw one side of it. I'll use this half design to then mirror over to the other side and make a complete helmet. To set myself up for this later step, I create a vertical construction line through the center of the token. Once that's done, I begin tracing the helmet. I like to use three-point arcs. Straight lines are too straight, and spline curves in Fusion 360 often cause a computer to hang up because they are so compute intensive. I find that three-point arcs are a happy medium. So turning off the snap to grid, I choose three-point arc and begin drawing curved lines around the edge of the helmet. Three-point arcs work by having you pick the beginning point of the arc, the end point of the arc, and then a point in between where the arc of the circle meets. I continue around the whole right side of the helmet. I decided to make this a bit fancy, so drew in the visor of the helmet. I'm using three-point arcs or straight lines for all of the drawing here. With the visor done, I begin to sketch the side of the mask. Again, I'm using three-point arcs all the way around. For the mouth opening, I decided to start with a circle but you could just have easily used three-point arcs all the way around. Again, like the rest of the helmet, I'm only drawing one half. You'll see I used the fillet command in a couple of places because where the two arcs met was just too sharp a point. The fillet is used to round an edge out. I decided the token would look better if I drew in the reinforcing bar that holds the visor to the helmet itself. 
So I used three point arcs and straight lines to continue on up and then moved on to the ornate topping on the helmet itself. Now with the basic drawing done, I go to Select, Selection Filters, and clear out all the options except for Sketch Curves. This allows me to use a window select around the drawing and only select the curves I just drew. Now I go to Create Mirror, and a dialog box will pop up. Since I've already selected the objects I want to mirror, I only need to click the Select button next to Mirror Line, and then choose that vertical dash construction line we created earlier. Finally, I hit the OK button. This will mirror the drawing elements I did earlier and create a complete helmet sketch. With the helmet done, I realized that I had to move it down to center it inside the token. So I changed the selection window settings again, selected the items to move, and then moved them down so that they were centered in the token. I decided to make one last detail, and that was the eye holes in the mask. So once again, created three point arcs, traced out the eyes, and then mirrored it over to the other side. Now comes the really fun part where we make things three dimensional. I wanted the token to be two millimeters thick, so I selected the outside border and made it, extruded it 0.6 millimeters so that that plus the base equaled the two. At this point I decided that for the three-dimensional effect I'd like to get I needed to complete the dome of the helmet as a separate drawing so I went back and sketched those lines in. At this point I went about making different elements of the helmet extruded outward or inward to give a three-dimensional effect. I made the wings of the helmet the most recessed along with the eye holes and the mouth holes. Then the rest of the helmet was raised up with the visor and the bridge being the highest points on the token itself. This is what the final token looked like in a three-dimensional view. Here are the rest of the tokens in the set. I had a lot of fun with these, and I'm looking forward to doing more for other games. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you liked it. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And another reason to subscribe is if, that, if you do, and you send me your email address, I will send you a link to all the tokens that were created in this video. Also, please comment with any thoughts you might have. I reply to anyone who comments to me. I really enjoy hearing feedback. With that, hope to see you next time.